it is nine o'clock. Great ones, good morning. It's so good to see you all back this morning. Welcome back. Today is the 6th of July. It is Monday. And today we are going to look at some more letter sounds. Okay, let's get started with our lesson today. I hope you are ready. Okay, yesterday's homework. We are going to look at the answers here. I'm going to help you. All you need to do is take your homework out and you can mark to see if you've got it correct. I'm sure you all did. Right. In the A block. Okay, let me tell you first. Let me repeat. You have put the words in the boxes where they belong. So under the block, there were the words. Now we are going to find the words with an A inside. Right, it's hat, mat, cat. The next block, we are going to find the E words. F, E for net, E for pen, and E for hen. Now the E words, win, sit, fin. And the next block is the O words, log, dog, pot and the last block is the ah words remember we did the ah on friday we practiced it as a revision ah for run sun and fun good that's your homework answers from friday i hope you all did it and i hope it's all correct now for today's lesson Okay, let me just make sure. Good. Here we have the letter J. You are going to find me the first letter from the block. And you're going to tell me where it is. Here we've got J. Yeah, the Y, the P and the G. Okay. Now, in the next line, where are we going to find that J? Which way do you see it? If you can see it, you can try. That's just a warm-up for today. Raise your hand and tell me if it's the first, second, third, or fourth block. Okay. Shelton, would you like to take a, a, a guess here and give me an answer? Okay. Shelton, I, I'm going to try and ask the host to just unmute you. If you're ready, okay, we don't get that right there for the moment. Then I'm going to tell you, look, yeah, can you see the J? It's the first, second, third block. Now, where is this J hiding in the next line? Who wants to take a chance? Yes. Hey, I've got someone. Tratesh, yes. Where do you see it in the in the third one? The J is next to the G. Oh, but that's so nice. What a beautiful answer. Thank you. And in the last one, where can you find the J there? There's Nathan now. Nathan is back, so let me just try. I'm going to mute you now. And then I'm going to unmute. Yes, Nathan, are you ready now to try that one for me? Yes. Okay, where do you find the J? Uh, at the beginning of the letter. Okay, but now look at the very last line. We've got the, the one, the Y, yeah, then the D, then the Y yeah again, and then in the? Last yeah. block. Yes, he's hiding at the last block. Well done. Good. Now we are going on. Let's see what's here, what we have in the next slide. Surprise, surprise. Some more J words. J for jug. J for job. J for jot. J for just. So can you see our words are changing now and all of them is starting with a J. 
jug, job, jot, just, jam, jab. Jim is a name. If it's a capital, it's the boy's name, Jim, and jump. Good. Now we are going on. Yeah, we are going to try and write the J. Are you ready to try that? Don't laugh at me because it's very hard to write with a mouse. And my mouse is slippery. But I'll try my best. Let's see. I want you to try with me. So just take your finger and we just go along with the movements. I always like to start with a small letter J. So here they show us what to do. Can you see that red dot? Yes. You put your pencil or your finger point there. Then you go straight down. I'll try my best. This I'm doing well. Straight down, then I'm going to make a turn to the left and stop. And you never pick up your hand. You pick up your hand to put the dot down. Let's practice again. Start on the dot, go straight down and make a turn to the left. That's the small letter J. One more time. Now you can pick up a pencil or a pen and try to do it with a pen on paper. Have you got that ready? Right. We start. Don't pick up, don't pick up and try to go straight, mouse, please. There you are. The J and don't forget the dot. Now we're going to practice the capital J. J for Jimmy or John or James, a name. Capital, you start on the dot and it's easy. We do the straight line first. And then in the middle, you can go down in the middle and go straight and the same and turn to the left. You can do it like this by starting the long line first and swing in a half circle to the left and then put the straight line on top. Two ways of doing it. But the secret in writing is not to pick up your hand. Okay. Identify now the correct letter from each block. Ah, again, the same as that previous one. Here we have a J in the beginning. You find it where, and you can just tell me it is first or last, or you can count them, number one, two, three, four. So raise your hand if you can see where that J is hiding. Are you raising hands? Come, that's such an easy one. Ah, here we have Nathan. Nathan, where do you where do you see the number Mr. J hiding? At the end. At the end. Well done. Thank you. Now, Terence, it's your turn. My name now, is Caitlin. Caitlin. Okay, I. Sorry, my screen doesn't show your name, but it's fine. Right, where, now you, be careful now, you are looking for the one in the first block. What letter is that? Yeah. What is that? What is the name of that letter? There? Is a T. At the T. And where are you going to find the T? Where in the line? Which number? On the second one. Second one, good. Okay. If I'm right, my screen is showing a bongi way. Your hand is raised. Come, you can try the last one. A bongi way. I'm going to try to unmute you. Okay. It doesn't want to. Maybe someone there can help. Are they? Okay. okay, what is that? What's your name? Abongiwe. Abongiwe. Okay, Abongiwe, you are going to look for this letter. What is the name of this letter? The first one in the block. It's the, the letter? J. No, the last one in the line. The last line, the first block. The letter? Can you F. see? 
Yes, we say th because we're doing the sound. Say th for fox. Say that. Okay. And where are you going to find that fox, that sound? There? First. And then the second one. Can you see? Here it is. Here is the same one in the second line. Thank you, Abogu. Where? Okay, now we're going on. Right. Now, choose the correct word for each picture. Now, this is so nice. You look at the picture, there are two words. Is it a jug or a mug? Up with the hands. Who's first? You just choose the right word for the picture. I, aha, Terence. Okay. Which one, Terence? Franklin. It is? Franklin. Franklin. Okay. Franklin, which one you choose? What, what is this picture? What is the name for this picture? What do you call this? A jug. A jug. So this is the correct word. There we are. Okay. Thank you, Franklin. Now, Terence, you can tell me what is this? Which is the right word? Is it jam or ram? Um, jam. That is jam. Good. Kunashe, it's your turn now. Yes, miss. Okay, dog. yes. That is a dog. It's not jog, it is dog. Oh, I, do you know this kind of dogs? They are very funny. We call it a sausage dog. Now, the next one, honey, Bootley, Bootley. Oh, yes. Thank you, Bootley. I know you. I've seen something from you. Come tell teacher what is this girl doing? Is, she, is, is it jump or bump? Uh, it might be jump. No, it is. It is jump. It's it's definitely jump. That girl is jumping. Ne, she is like jumping or skipping the rope. The rope. Okay. Now, who is going to try this one? Is this a jacket or a racket? Come, Butler. You can try again. Take okay. a look. Okay. Okay. That is a jacket. That is a jacket. Thank you. And now who is ready for the last one? That is the jelly or belly? Jelly. Mm, what jelly. is that? Jelly or belly? Jelly. It is jelly. Well done, my good great ones. Thank you. Right now, it's a story. I want to move the name away here. Just give me a chance. Okay. Okay. Okay, out of the way. Right, listen to this little story. It's actually a paragraph. Jack and Jill are twins. They love to eat jam and jelly. The juice is in their jar. They are jumping in the jungle gym. I'm going to read it again. Jack and Jill are twins. They love to eat jam and jelly. The juice is in the jar. They are jumping in the jungle gym. Now, I want you to identify or read me all the words out that starts with a J. All the J words. Diresh, who, ah, who, yeah, Gabriel, your name, your hand was up first. Gabriel, you can read that. Can someone, can someone explain to me? Yeah. What? Jack and Jack. Jill. Jack. Or... Yes. Just now that you can skip so, one and we just start. So, yeah. Just, uh, 
Can you see the next one? It's in the second line. To second, Julie's. To like. Uh, and Jan. Okay, the next one is Jan. And the next one is. Jack and Jill, then it's Jam. Can you see Jam? It's there. Jam. There's the Jam. Then that word, can you read this word for teacher? What is that word? Jelly. Jelly. Here's Jelly coming. You see the appearing. We've got Jack, we've got Jill, we've got Jam, we've got Jelly. And what is this one? Okay. Juice, correct. Juice, juice is in a juice. What is this word? How do we say that word? How do you pronounce it? Jar. Well done. Jar. Jar. Okay, and then the la there, there's another one. What's this one? Jumping, jumping, jumping. Good luck. And the and the last one. What is that one? Jungle, jungle, jungle. Yes, the Jeff or jungle. Yeah, it's the Jeff or jungle. Oh, that was so good. Thank you for participating, my good children. Now, let's see. Another one to do. A nice exercise. Choose the correct word to match the picture. Aha. I just want to move your names away. Now, on my screen, I cannot read out your names. So, I I'm going to see. Let me just, I'm going to ask the host here to help a little bit because if, I, the, my, your names is a bit lost on my screen. So if your hand is raised, please host, you can just uh, unmute that person for me. Okay, now we have here yeah, words. We have jockey. Now you must find the picture that match this word jockey. Then there's a jet and jackal, jaguar, jetty and jacket. Okay, right. Anyone who would like to try? Find a match. I see Terence. I can see Terence. Okay, Terence, try. My name is Franklin. Franklin, okay. Uh, is it Franklin that's unmuted? Okay, Franklin, come. Where, which picture uh, are you going to connect, connect with jockey? Which picture is that? Describe it for teacher. Which is a jockey? Do you know? The if you fox. don't... The fox. The horse. The horse. That, okay. The jockey is the man that's riding the horse. That is the jockey. Can you see that? We call that yes. a jockey. He's riding a racing horse. That is a jockey. Now, next one, Jet. Find the picture. The one that. The blue aeroplane. That is a jet. That's a fast aeroplane. We call it. Run so far. Find this one, Jackal for teacher. The jackal. The jackal. Which one is that? The one next to the word. Not the black bear. I think this is the jackal, the brown one. This is a jackal. Can you see that? Yes. Oh, and now, which picture do you think match jaguar? A jaguar.
what do you think a jaguar is? Is it an animal or is it what what kind of thing is it? Is it it's an animal? It's an animal. It's this black one. It's like this black cat. Can you see? It's like a tiger. It's a black cat. We call it a jaguar. All right. It's not always black, but you do get black jaguars as well. Now the next one, jetty. Which word fit the picture? Jetty. Jetty. Which picture? That's the jetty. Which one that's, is that? That that jacket. Okay, you see, so you can see jacket. That's correct. That is the jacket. Now we only have JT left. Which one is the JT? The guy's fishing. Yes. And do you know what's a JT? It is this piece of platform. This is a JT. You know, you normally get a JT near water or at water. It's like a platform uh, where, which you can sit or stand on or walk on at when there's water. Right. Now let's go through the, the, the pictures and meanings again. We've got jockey. That was a new word for most of you. It's the person who rides the horse, the racing horse. Jet is the plane. It's a fast plane. Jackal is that brown jackal. We all know a jackal. But a jaguar is a, a tiger or a big cat. Jetty is that platform at water. And jacket is what you wear when it's cold. Right, now, practice time again. Let's write. Are you ready? First, we are going to do it with your finger in the air. And after that, we are going to write it on paper. But watch. In the air, start right at the top, going straight down and turn to my left. Okay, I'm going to write it now. Straight down, don't lift, don't lift, and go a nice go to the left, and don't forget your dot on the top. Right now, your homework for homework, you are going to write just the first letter for each picture. If you have a DBE book, her own language, then you will find this on page. 105 105 and then all you need to do is write down the letters and remember they it's not necessary j letters they are all mixed you must just look at the picture and put the first letter of the picture down in the block for those who don't have books what is the golden rule we do yes we are taking a snapshot with your phone Write it on the page. Okay, and if you've got your snapshot, do you know it? And then you can just number it. Snapshot. We'll make it easier. If you can't print it out, you say that's number two, and we take that one for number uh, number one. I'm sorry, number one is this. And what you must look what's inside this box. Now we call it something. And what is this? Then you do that for number two. Then you can just write the letter. So you can say number one is the letter N. Number two is the letter N. Number three is this one. Number four is that one. And that is number five. Number six. Number seven. And number eight. Okay. Then you can, next to the numbers, you can just put the letter which the pictures start with. Right. And then tomorrow morning, when I, when I put the answers in, that's easy for you to mark. And if you want to, you can even ask your mom to email it to my email address. Then I can mark it. And I can give it a look. All right. I hope you find this easy. Uh, I am actually... I wonder if you are, if you know what this is. This might be a challenge, okay? But I'm not going to tell you. It's for you to find out. Okay, my lovely children. And for that, it was today's letter, the letter J that we have focused on. But we also revised some other letters as well, which you already know. And I hope you enjoyed the lesson. And I hope you've learned something. 
and I want to thank you for joining in and work so nicely together with me. And with that, I want to give you your takeaway message. It is be strong, not weak. Okay. And with that, it's goodbye for Monday. I will That's see you, you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Bye, ma'am. Bye, lovers. Say bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye. Your, your email address, please. Your email address. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 Okay, teacher is gonna bye, write. Bye. Okay, before. Bye. Okay. Um, let me bye. just. See. Oh, my email address is coming. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. My bye. email address bye. is on the screen now. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, and bye. Bye. You're the best teacher ever. Oh, thank you. You make my heart, and you make my bye. day. Bye.